the range of things that this one court case tells us about the 19th century, about same-sex relations, about power, about imperialism, about Hawaii's status as an independent country. There's so many things going on in this court case that are just fascinating. It is based on a super rare uh, original trial transcript from the Kingdom of Hawaii's Admiralty Court, which is the Maritime Court, um, where two super poor cabin boys sue an American whaling captain for repeated counts of sodomy. So this is really unusual. Uh, and that's what the story is about. I was just doing research in the Hawaiian archives um, because I was interested in how uh, courts impose law and order on whaling ships. Uh, and I stumbled across this trial transcript that nobody's actually used. It's 250 pages, handwritten, this lurid, detailed testimony by all the crew members testifying against the captain uh, and claiming that he actually was guilty, that he did this. Because this is about sodomy and same-sex relations aboard American whaling uh, ships, which historians know knew pretty much is happening, but nobody talks about it. So the fact that we have a whole group of people testifying in court openly about what went on on this American whaling ship is really um, tantalizing. I actually, I had moments where I thought, this has got to be a hoax. Like, there are moments when I was reading the whole thing, because it took a while because it's handwritten, really hard to read, um, where I couldn't believe it was from 1860. They swear so much <laughs> this document. It's pretty incredible. Some of the, the terminology that they used was surprising to me. So they would just des describe the human body with ship terms. I don't know if you want me to give any examples of that. But the F word is like rampant in this transcript, which was surprising to me in the 19th century. Sex, swearing, the third one, mutiny. So I was really just blown away. I had never seen anything like it. I'd never heard of anything quite like it from that year, from that time period. A lot of the documentation for uh, charges about sodomy are from much earlier in like the British Royal Navy or are much later in the early 1900s. So this was quite a find. I also think um, the conclusion of the case will be a shocker.